Hi! Happy Fun Day Monday! Unfortunately, this is our last assignment of the year. So sad. I'm going to miss seeing all your wonderful artwork. But we're going to do something special this week. We are going to do spread some kindness. So we're going to each make a card for the residents at Parker Place. I'm asking you to take your time and make a greeting card that sends well wishes to the residents of Parker Place. Parker Place is a retirement community for elder people and it's in Menor. We sent them cards on Valentine's Day. Student Council had the opportunity to drop off all those beautiful Valentines that you made. So this time you're not gonna make a Valentine, you're just gonna make a card that says, I hope you're being healthy, I hope you're safe, well, um, we're sending love, um, happy spring. You could say whatever you want. The residents of Parker Place are not allowed to leave and they're not allowed to have any company or visitors. So many of them are there all alone and it's sad. And I thought it would be nice if we each made a card and I would deliver them. You can use any color paper for your card. The most important thing though is that you have something that's light in color so that you could see what you draw. And the card has to open like this. All greeting cards open up like a door. After you decide what you're going to use for your paper, go ahead and have your mom or dad help you write a nice little message inside of the card. You have to make sure that you are writing your message on this right hand side of the card. Greeting cards only open one way. And if you're using dark paper, you want to make sure that you have something light that you can put on top of it. Like maybe if your card's going to be red on the outside, you could cut a little piece of light paper and glue it on the inside and write on the light paper. And when I write my card, I'm going to sign it, um, your friends at Sterling Morton. You can write your name if you want, but you could just write your friend from Sterling Morton Elementary. When you're finished, you need to decorate the front of the card. You should start off by drawing with a pencil first and then outlining it all with a Sharpie or something dark. Here you could see that I opened up the card so that what I drew with the Sharpie doesn't soak through to the back. After you're done drawing and neatly outlining it, clean it up with an eraser and just color it in. And you can write any sentiment you want this card is up to you. I just want you to take your time. Don't draw something real quick with a crayon and stop. I want you to take the steps to start with a pencil, outline with a marker, and color with crayons or something so that it looks nice and neat. So what I'm asking you to do is follow the directions here on Seesaw and make a greeting card. Do your best work and put your whole heart into it. And what I will have your parents do is when they bring you to school to pick up your belongings, I will have a big plastic bin sitting right outside the front door at Morton and you can put your card right in the bin. You don't need to post your artwork on Seesaw. You can just put it in the bin and I'll gather them all up and bring them to Parker Place myself. Enjoy the last project and I'll probably send you a message next week, but I'm thinking of you. I miss you. Have fun.